Hello everybody, I'm Zul, and welcome to modding Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. In today's episode, I am going to be doing a video on a very highly requested topic, and that topic is how to get the game to run at a widescreen resolution. Now, if you've been a follower of my channel for a while, you might have noticed I do have a KOTOR 2 1080p video. But for a lot of people who viewed it, it wasn't quite satisfying, and I kind of understand why. There's a couple of glaring issues with that video. First and foremost is that it ignored any resolution that wasn't 1080p. In particular, 16x9 and, you know, other widescreen resolutions were completely ignored. The second thing about that video is I didn't sh tell anybody about the limitations. Um, there's a couple of resolutions that you just can't get to run at widescreen no matter what you do. There's, a, there's some sort of janky fixes for that, but for the most part they don't work. And I didn't cover that in the video at all, and that was a huge lapse on my part. But today I am here to try and mend that, so without further ado, let's get started with how to play KOTOR 2 in any widescreen resolution. Alright, now the first issue that I'm going to be talking about is the most glaring issue, and it is one that a lot of people seem to have had problems with on my older video. This is the vertical resolution issue. It is the reason why your dialogue options get cut off at the bottom of the screen. This is most common on resolutions of 1366 by 768 or below. That's because any resolution that has a vertical resolution lower than 785, that again is 785 vertical resolution, so up and down, will cause the screen to be cut off. Now the simple and kind of janky fix for this is to never reduce that resolution below that amount. I'm not really sure how certain monitors that are not that height can handle it, but from my research this is pretty much the only option to stop it from getting cut off. If you set things to 1366 by 785 for example, you should be able to see the game and read the dialogue options and select them. So make sure to set all of your options properly in the display options below. Um, so when we talk about the any, you're going to have to make sure to keep everything to 785. I can't make this clear enough because this is an issue a lot of people had. The second issue is something I'm actually going to show you how to solve later, so we're not going to worry about that and we're actually going to go right into the actual fix. So if you go down to the description, there'll be two links. One will be the squizzy link and one will be the UniWS screen. Uh, link. The UniWS stands for Universal Widescreen, and it is going to be the tool we are going to use to patch the game. So go ahead and download both the zipped up archives for these, and then use a tool like 7-Zip or WinRAR. I'll put a thing on the screen somewhere, or maybe in the description, if you don't know how to use those, because I am planning on making a video for that, because I do get that question a lot as well. After that, just go ahead, right-click, and extract. For me, I'm using WinRAR, so I just right-click and click to extract using... Uh, WinRAR, and I get these two folders. Uh, so I'm going to move them into a better area for you to see here. The first folder we're going to look at is the Squizzy folder. Inside is a resolution patcher and an executable. Go ahead and take this executable and throw it on your desktop. You do not need the Squizzy stuff anymore. You just needed it for that executable, and that is because the Steam executable for KOTOR 2 does not allow you to modify it, meaning that if you don't do this step, you are actually not going to be able to patch your game, it's just not going to work. After that, uh, you're going to want to open up Universal Widescreen, make sure that everything kind of matches what I have here, but we're not going to do it yet because there's actually a step we have to take in game. So let's uh, launch our game, uh, it works better if you've freshly installed, but it doesn't really matter if you've already done stuff to the game, just launch it up and follow my instructions. Alright, so here we are in KOTOR 2, and as you can see, the resolution is not actually the best. However, we're going to need to change some of the settings, so go into the Graphics Option menu and go to Screen Resolution. You will want to set your resolution to 1280 by 960. 1280 by 960 is the resolution that allows you to get a custom resolution injected into the game. So it doesn't matter what your display is, set it to this and never change it. If you do change it, you're going to have to do this all over again. In fact, if you look here, I actually have several different 1280 by 960 resolutions, and that's because I've run this trick a couple of times to test it out before I made the video. So just set it to that and forget about it. Once it's changed, you should be good to go, so go ahead and quit out of the game and back to the desktop. 
Alright, so once you've selected the correct resolution in the game, you can go ahead and begin the patching process. First thing you're going to need to do is find the installation directory of your game. So in my case, since it's the Steam version, it's Steam, Steam Apps Common, and it's the Old Republic 2. And if we scroll down, we'll see swkotor2.exe. Now if you don't see the .exe, don't worry, you just have extensions for known file types hidden. Uh, I'll show you how to do that right now if you're on Windows 7. Uh, you simply go over to the search menu and you type folders, go to folder options, view, and then you want to, this will be checked off, so your game will look like this, and you want to uncheck hide extension for known file types, and click apply. This is useful and you should always have this on your computer pretty much at all times. Anyway, once you've done that, select the executable that's in the game and hit F2 if you're on Windows, and change the name to .old. Um, so swkotor.exe.old. This will allow us to back it up, so yeah, that's, that's fine. Yes, I would like to change it. You can also do this by right-clicking and hitting rename. After you've done that, take the squizzy executable, the one that you downloaded earlier, and move it in here. Delete this one for your desktop, or you could run into problems. After this, uh, executable is the only one because the one on your desktop has been deleted, open up the folder for universal widescreen. Double click on the executable and select run if prompted. After that, go to the game section at the top of the screen and scroll down until you find Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. After selecting that, it will ask you to find the location of your executable. So you can either do this manually uh, by going into here, looking at Steam, whatever, or you can select find it for me and it will scour the depths of your computer in order to find this. Now in my case, this is actually going to take longer, however, I will return once it's done. After several eons of waiting, it will automatically detect the location of the game folder, as you can see here, so you're just going to want the folder selected, and once it has done that, uh, it will give you this little message. You can click OK, and then you can go ahead and change the resolution to your resolution of choice. So in my case, it's 1920 by 1080. If you use, uh, I don't know, 1900 by 1200 or another resolution, you got to put that there instead. 1080. There we go. Once we are done, go ahead and click Patch. It will tell you the game is successfully patched, and a good way to tell is there will be a new little thing in this folder. Right here, swkotor.undo1. This is a backup of the squizzy one, so if you, if you ever want to go back, you can just change the name of this. Alright, so with the game running, we still have a little bit of work left to do. We're going to have to change the any files. So, head on back to your Steam Apps Common Night Sealed Republic 2 folder, and you're going to want to look for something called swkotor2.ini. Uh, you're going to right click this and hit edit or open with notepad or notepad++. Uh, I'm just going to use notepad for the purposes of this video. And we are going to select the resolution. Uh, so right here is the first thing we're going to want under display options. I'm going to set it to 1920 by 1080. There is also graphics options down here which you are also going to want to change. You're going to want to set the height to 1080 and the width to 1920, or whatever your resolution of choice is. Uh, finally, make sure that VSync is on. It doesn't matter how strong, how powerful your computer is, VSync will solve a lot of your problems with the game, so I recommend having VSync equal to 1 being on. After that, go ahead and click save, and you can close out of the game. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and launch KOTOR 2 and test out the changes that we've done. Alright, so I've launched the game, and as you can see, it is running at a much more satisfying uh, widescreen resolution here, as you can see. Uh, we're going to go ahead and load a save, though, just to take a look at some stuff, so we're going to just open this up here. Okay, so as you can see, the game is running at a widescreen resolution, and it's working perfectly fine. However, the heads-up display leaves a lot to be desired. It's really big, and it's really stretched. It still works, so if you really like this kind of thing, you can go ahead and use it, but pay attention to the minimap. As you can see here, um, my icon is actually changing size, and the minimap is actually going to be inaccurate uh, on the basis of this widescreen resolution. So if you are going to play it like this, I would recommend opening up the options menu and turning off the minimap, which you do like so. I just have a feedback and turn it off. And for those of you who want to play with a slightly larger HUD, the game will work perfectly fine like this. For those of you who want to fix the HUD, however, there's one more step to take. Alright, so in order to correct the heads-up display errors, we're going to head over to DeadlyStream.com and download the widescreen UI fix for Night Sealed Republic 2 version 3.0.
Head over to the download section here and you will get a file that should be downloaded in almost a few moments. We'll just move this out of the way, take that to our desktop. Uh, then you just right click and extract files using either WinRAR or 7Z. Open up the file and you will be greeted with three different things. So there is the 1680 by this is the um, 16 by 10 resolution right here so if you use 16 by 10 this one should work for you and then there's the 16 by 9 and the 16 by 9 alien now alien is the original version of the mod uh, so you're not you're not going to want to use this one at all now if you use a different size display there are different heads up display mods available you could check out the widescreen gaming forms for that although i have no way to test them because i only have my two 1080p monitors here so unfortunately i can't tell you how the scaling is going to work otherwise but this is how to fix it if you're going to be using this so i'll open up the 1920 by 1080 I'll get some different files here I will then open up my Knights Sealed Republic folder here which is again Steam Steam Apps Common Knights Sealed Republic I'm gonna open up the override folder select all of these drag and drop close out of this and we will launch the game for one last time all right so there you have it that's what the game will look like with the hud fixed i find this much more pleasant as you can see the mini map is working properly all the icons are still clickable but they are out of the way they're not in your face sort of obstructing your view of the game and that's pretty much it for the video uh, if you have any issues i'm going to leave a link down in the description to a place with a whole list of things to troubleshoot kotor 2. but i am not going to be covering those in this video so you're gonna have to do that on your own uh, I will say thank you very much for watching if you made it this far in the video Please consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of coverage for a lot of modding of games tweaking of games getting them to run uh, KOTOR is in particular a specialty of my channel So if you like KOTOR 2 you might be interested in some of the other mods that I'm covering uh, In particular mods that make the game look better once you have it running at 1080p You probably want to get those textures up. I got videos for that So please consider subscribing to my channel and checking out my other stuff other than that, please leave requests for games, videos, anything you'd like to see from me in the future. I am willing to do whatever, although I'd prefer it if you actually went over to either my forum thread on DeadlyStream.com or to my video where I ask you for requests to do that, but if you leave them here, I'm perfectly fine with that as well. Anyways, until the next video that you join me for... Does that make sense? Yes, it does. I've been Zool. Have an excellent day.